I look to this one. Can you imagine? There is one kind of person who attracts God's attention. The whole triune God, God at turns to see where is that person who is humble, who is poor, who is broken, who is lowly. The whole heavens focuses on that lowly person. Why? Because God says, I want to dwell in that person who carries out what I tell. Humility attracts God's attention. Lowliness, meekness attracts God's attention. Read in different, different versions. You will say, to this one I will look. Another version says, I am interested in this type of man who is humble. Much of the operation of the gifts of the Holy Spirit in these days is not centered on the person of Jesus Christ. Many people don't talk about God's character. We have not developed our knowledge of the person of Jesus Christ. God resisted the proud, but he gives grace to humble. He says, humble person, come, come. Why? Because God is the most humblest person in the whole universe. In the whole universe, the most lowliest person, the down-to-earth person, the servant of all is God. He is absolute selfless. He came to seek and save those who are lost. He said, I have come not to be served, but to serve and to give my life as a ransom. He's a servant who gives his life. He's God who's all the time giving himself away, giving himself away. Mercy gives away, gives away. It is in the giving that you get the knowledge of God. Giving yourself to meet the need of others, you'll get the knowledge of God. It is in lowliness, staying humble and low, you will understand your God. You will know your God. Outside these two things, meekness and mercy, you will not know God. God is very humble, very lowly. What was the secret in the life of Moses? The Bible says God spoke to Moses face to face because Moses was also the meekest man on the face of the earth. Become a meek man, a lowly man, absolute nothing in yourself. You want to become a person who speaks to God face to face? Then go down. The hallmark of a true man of God or a woman of God is their humility. 